hats are real personal. You know, you can't just get one and it's gonna work for everybody. We gotta have a lot of different ones to choose from. My name is Sean Ferry, and I'm the president of Burner Youth Hats. So your head's right here, so there's like nothing above, you know, your head, okay. which also makes them a little easier to get into because if you're used to wearing caps, you know, you're not used to a lot of rise off the top. So this is a gateway hat. A lot of times, <laughs> when they're first new to hats, they've got to try on a lot of different styles and find out what fits their personality. More of a fedora kind of yeah. shape? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, we've got a couple of those. You know, we don't really go by any of the set rules that say, you know, if your face is this wide, you're supposed to wear this size of brim. The wider brim one is this one. This one was the one you liked the best. Oh, okay. I'd rather hand you four different brim sizes, have you try it on, and see which one you like. Uh, not too Scottish. I mean, this one's going to be a little bit almost to the western side, or do you want something a little more well, on the press I'm looking for give me some cowboy boots. You could try the Stetson um, version of the one you have on. This one has a two-inch brim instead of a one and seven-eighths inch brim, so it, it's not a huge difference, but it, it does have a little more on it. It's got a lot more to do with what they're using it for and what fits them. Does that fit a little better mm -hmm. with, with really it like that? That one looks like a better fit. You don't get... You know, the but, gapping right yeah. there in front of the ears. We're real big on customer service and really helping people. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's going to be kind of similar material, right. you know, if you want to kind of keep the material want, similar. Yeah. Yeah. Versus, you know, just trying to sell them something. Well, that's another one of those things we've got all the time, though. I mean, if you're not trying to buy multiple hats in one trip, we're, we, we always have these. It seems to be the uh, one-stop shop, you know, where all things hat. We have a lot of inventory in the basement. Behind all these boxes, there's 10, 15,000 hats. And there's fedoras, derbies, homburgs, western hats. We have bright ones. We've got the small brimmed ones. We've got, you know, the tall mix. Each dress hat its crown has its own name. So it'd be like an ace block or a pork pie or a center pinch. But they'd also all technically be fedoras because you can bend the brim up and down. It's like what I have on would be considered a fedora, but because I can't snip the brim up, it's a trilby. We also sell a lot of flat caps, the one-piece caps, the newsboys. All the wooden boxes are full of different cap styles. How long has the store been here? 78 years. Oh, that's why I got so many styles. Yeah. You got a style for every uh, decade. Well, the store opened in 1934 uh, by Bernie Utes. He sold to his in-laws in the 60s and then my dad worked for them since 75 and bought it in 1990 and I'm now getting ready to buy it from him. Bernie, you tats. It's the only job I've ever done. Well, I'm doing good, Ed, how are you? I started coming in here on the weekends when I was like 10. I've worked here full time since I was 18. I'm gonna assume it's like before where we can switch trims? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's always been a family business. It's on the third family now, but it's always still been run the same way. Okay. okay. That's a good choice, I think. Okay, let's go with this one. Right. Let's go. Yeah, let's, yeah, you're right. You know, I like interacting with people. You know, there's a lot of diversity in the customer base and the hats. That's a, that's a nice step. We offer, you know, a touch-up service uh, for pretty much any hat. If I was picking a Stetson one to shape into a pork mm. pie, would be this one because it's only got one crease, you know, to change. Right, right. There's not too many places that know how to shape a hat anymore. The hardest part is being able to feel 
the felt and knowing when you need more steam or less steam. I've been shaping hats since I was a kid. So it's definitely takes a lot of practice. That's it. That's it. I really appreciate it. That looks no good. Problem. That'll work, Sean. All right. Thank you very much. You know, we don't do too much advertising. Everything's pretty much word of mouth. I've been in intending to find this place for years. Have you? Yeah, but now I know where you are. Yeah. Well, here, let me grab you a card, too. Thank that you. way you yeah. can... We haven't had a website. We haven't had a computer in here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Have a nice day. You know, there's a nostalgia to the place. All the casework and the cabinets and the shelves and everything, all that's original. You know, it's always been how I've supported my family and, you know, it's supported my parents. It's how we were, you know, able to grow up. So it's really carrying on a tradition of that. My son's three and hopefully I'll still have it when he's my age if he wants it. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.